Hello, Ectosatural on Aaron and my own channel, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a build something you know, that we've been wanting to do for a while, so if you'd follow me outside these doors, we have this huge sort of setup out here where there's two 80 block long segments on either side of this huge wall, and each of us are going to build either the front or back of the ship. Which uh, section would you like, Aaron? Front or back? I don't know, I'd like to build the back personally. Alright, then this will be the back of the ship and I'll build the front. Are you going to make sure you include braking engines, or should I be putting those in? Uh, no, I, I'll I'll do all engine parts. So Alrighty. Like, you do the front, so you might want to do some like observation and all that stuff. You, you know Alrighty. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'll have some I'm fun with glass. Some, some fun ed engineering at the back here that <laughs> it'll be rather interesting. <laughs> yes, and the only real rules with this are you cannot go any closer to the dividing wall than the section we already have set up here. And we basically have this section here so the entrance to our hallways will be matching. We could actually change the hallway shape after that if we like mm -hmm. and have complete ridiculousness, but there's actually no other real rules. So anyway, let's uh, start building, shall we? Yes, and no peeking. Yes, no peeking. Pilot. There's little tiny peaky holes, but those are mainly just so we can get back and forth quicker yeah. if we really find ourselves needing or to. an incident, yeah. <laughs> if there I... is an incident, yes. Well, I'm going to get started. Yes, and these are stations, by the way, so we'll convert them to ships after we've merged them together. I don't know what you do when you build stage. You go for an outline first, don't you? Do uh, little planning blocks? Depends what I got in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and put the bridge in first. Mm. Yes, I'm sort of feeling like a bridge would be nice right about now. Actually, mm. I think what I might do yeah. is I'm going to finish the hallway first. Oh, like oh, oh, down the middle? Yeah, the big mm. middle hallway. I'm going to make it look a bit nicer. Oh, yes. Right, I'll just try doing... I'm just trying to get in the shape first, I think. I think that's really my priority, working out a nice shape alike. Alright. Nice over here. That is good. Mine is also coming together pretty well. At least the bit I have built. It's sort of like building the spine of the ship, and then you add the ribs and, and some of the organs, and then the exterior finally. I've got, I've got a feeling, you know, one of us is going to build really big, and one of us is going to build really small. <laughs> Are you building big right now? Oh, wait, don't, uh, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me! That would be cheating, wouldn't it? Well, it's not peaking, is it? Yeah, but it would it would give us a hint at to what the other person's doing, so we might end up changing our design for that purpose. Even mm -hmm. subconsciously, let us not risk it. Are you thinking of anything particularly special, or are you just going to go with like, uh, a bridge and well, uh, observation deck? Well, I'm going to have the bridge, an observation deck or four, um, a cafeteria, living quarters, I'm thinking. Hmm. Yeah, gotta, gotta, you know, it's got to be a pretty nice ship, right? Yeah, of course it has. And, and form this monstrosity. Yeah. I'm sure it will be, um, that's the best word for it. Monstrosity. Mm. As you were saying, two very different ship designs. Watch oh, them, yeah. actually, if, watch if, them actually know, line the up. Same... That'll be hilarious. I doubt it. There's no way in hell, but if somehow it did manage to line up, that would be incredible. There's always a possibility, I guess. Yeah, the one in a million possibility. Like the monkeys and the typewriters. I was through with the engine rooms. Yeah. Ever since, you know, they did the patch with the, uh... Where you can't have engines there. behind engines? Oh, like engines, you know, facing into engines, because it used to look pretty cool, that. Yeah, yeah. 
Not to mention, you used to be able to have huge nacelles, and they'd look awesome, but now, of course, if you just have huge nacelles, they're going to burn themselves to bits. Hmm. I really wish there was some sort of engines behind engines thing, but of course you can put in um, a gravity drive. You just have to make sure it's centered on your ship, though, which is dangerous. Or if you have them in a nacelle off to the side, you have to have, you know, make sure they're lined up properly. Which is actually a pretty damn cool mechanic. True, true. Not when you blow up, though. Yeah, when it all goes kaboom, then you sort of just curse. as a mega ship. As a matter of fact, I'd say it definitely would. Uh, my front part alone, I would say, probably counts as a mega ship. So once they're joined up, I couldn't imagine them not counting as a mega ship. I had my music going. I said, can I have a hint? Oh, what kind of hint would you like? How heavy is it? How heavy is it? Well, right now, uh, there's no easy way to tell because it's not a ship, is it? It's a station. Okay. <laughs> Very heavy, I'd say so. But it's made out of... Well... <laughs> hmm. What do I want to give away? I don't think I want to give away too much to you yet. Is it heavy or light armor? That's probably fine. It's light armor. Thank God, because we've had a right mismatch in Gold of the While you're finding about an interior, I'm building a, a beautiful exterior. Is that the schools? So we thought amazing. I'm so excited because your ship's designs are like really good, and you're like, but they seem to be always quite squarey. Yes. And I always do my more circular ones. Yeah, yours are more aerodynamic, whereas I build usually four space, so it ends up becoming, well, very much less so. Right, can you say that again? My music was too loud. But I was just saying, you know, one thing that I like to do is, you know, try and have a reason for everything. I'm trying to justify why I built that there. I don't always do that. I usually don't actually. <laughs> it's just nice to build structures, I think. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a purpose constructor. I build for purpose. Okay, Stalin. Everything looks like made of grey concrete. No, <laughs> no I'm joking. <laughs> That is my theory why um, the Soviet Union failed. It was <laughs> it some nice... boring. Oh no, it was good, but I think this needed some more different colored concrete. <laughs> they would have had some like mixed it up a bit, a bit of red concrete, a bit of green concrete maybe.
So that's why Soviet Union fell. Wasn't, you know, they spent so much money on missile programs and everything else. Nope, nope. It was just they ah, needed no, the more US colorful did the concrete. Same. Yeah, it's exactly that. But did the US have tons of colorful concrete? Yeah, if they, their yeah. buildings and bases were more colorful, and that's what won. <laughs> Need a good cold concrete to win a war these days. Really? So that's why. Oh, let's not get into this. This is gonna go bad. <laughs> so we've finally reached the stage where we're actually ready to reveal our ships. We're gonna delete the wall in the middle, and we're gonna assess what the others built, and then we'll try sticking it together. So you ready, Sage? Uh, yes, I believe I am. Go ahead and delete the wall. Oh, you delete the wall. Oh, all right, I'll delete it. the wall. I'm just gonna double check to make sure the wall's not attached to my ship. It doesn't appear to be okay. The urge to see, I can see okay. a little peek through okay. the wall. Okay, deleting the wall. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. This is the part that's missing. Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, sorry. There's two two parts that didn't get deleted. Okay, let's have a look. What we got here. Oh, the, oh, we got we got a standard set. I've seen this sort of stage design before. It's similar to a lot of stuff I do, yeah. Hmm. Of course it is, though. Yeah, I get. Um, it's that it's that individual style, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very modular in look. A lot mm. of rooms here, dozens and dozens of rooms. Yeah, lots of glass as well. Mhm. Mm Let's have a go around the front part so I can have a look at the. Um, so this is so so. What sort of sections have you got inside here? Uh, I got the main Briefly. hall. I've got sort of like a. You, oh, it's hard to explain, but I've got the main control room there. I've got an overlook under it. The mm. windows I'm hovering by right now are actually sort of in a hallway that with the stairs, but it also works as a good observation point if you Very like. Very nice. Uh, along here, I have two floors of windows for just looking out. You could retrofit one of the rooms to be a briefing area or just, you know, civilian whatever. Very nice. And then the bottom one could be eatery or whatnot. And then uh, along this, these are basically just all as offices or bedrooms or whatever you want to turn them into. They're just set up basically as bedrooms right now. Each of them has a bed in it and a desk playing all along. And there's two floors of that. And then there's also mirrored on the inside with a main large hallway. And then we have down here the uh, nice huge um, <laughs> landing bay area with these nice slanted bits. That so I'm if you really could, if you with. could summarize your ship, what do you, what would you call it? What sort of job do you think it serves? Uh, I, I built it mainly as a civilian ship for tourism. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's like a that. It's going to be very tourist. hard to connect up the corridors. <laughs> My... yeah. Well, you should still have that main small corridor hook up, yes? The main corridor hookup is in place. Okay, so we, we just line those up and we're good. Alright, we'll have to try that, right. Any questions well, about mine? Oh uh, yeah, let me go ahead and take a look at yours since I just buzzed around mine again. Um, a lot. This bloody block. Can you remove this bloody tile so the shadow's not on my ship? Because it's really uh, annoying me. There, there's there's no block for me. <laughs> Your ship oh. is completely in light for me, my friend. That sucks. There's a part still there for me. Okay. So so on top we've got a massive cannon. Yeah. That's just that. just a bit of a mock up until we can actually get them stuck together. Until well, rotors that, work basically. Yeah, until rotors work a little bit better, it's a bit of a mock up. And then uh, below we've got some hangar just basic hangar bays that are just used for transport of cargo. And then inside we've got a load of cargo areas and then on the lower deck, right below, you'll see there's some hangar doors. Ah yes. yes. And uh, then we actually have the cockpit. That's a style that I quite like. It's a bit like um, you know a proper ship sort of yeah, cockpit. Yeah, proper where ship it stretches or across. Square, yes, very much so. Yeah. Nice obs and the, nice ability to look. So we basically have two bridges. We have the front bridge mm. and then this main battle bridge. That means basically. we can we can use yours to ram into things. <laughs> <laughs> People can board out of it. Uh, but um, yeah, so I, I don't know if the engine's gonna be powerful enough to pull it and move it, but we'll still yes, have to try. It's gonna be a pretty big ship. I I, ooh, with the engines yeah. at the back, there is a fair amount there. It it's might a fair get us going. Of engines. It might. I think it might get us going, but we'll have to. We'll have to see. So um, let's try hooking these up anyway. So if you uh, want to yes, copy and paste your ship really close to mine, and then we'll do a little bit of smoothing. Alrighty. Alrighty so uh, that that merger looks like it went well. Shall we uh, look at my ship first? Well, let's have a look around, shall we? See what you've all got right. going in all these windows. 
Yes, I know. If you just ignore that reactor right like there on the landing red pad. light district. Don't really need that. Uh, yeah, I, I like um, my <laughs> hangar bays and stuff to be sort of colored orange and stuff like that. It's oh, sort of a nice, I, I, you know, warning color. So this is where you land. How long crew members would be doing anything private with you? <laughs> <laughs> That's hopefully right. not. But yeah, this is where you would uh, land your ships and stuff. And from here you can very go nice. off these ramps. I like how the door's covered. The door's covered very nicely yeah. so if someone yeah. gets a stray shot. Yeah, and you know, I built mine sort of as a civilian idea, so there's not exactly that much battlement. Actually, mm. these here aren't exactly for resupply, they're for dropping off cargo for oh, nice. the people if you have spare cargo. But anyway, if we head up to these doors like an up apartment. here... apartment! It's great. Yeah, I, I like this design here. Mm. Yeah, this leads us into sort of the hallway that just runs along the length of that. Mm. And then from here, if we head through these dice doors here, we have a double airlock. So we basically went through a little airlock here, now we're in a bigger one. That up. Yeah, it's sort of just to make sure, you know, the civilian populace, if there was one on board, this, yeah, they'd be safe. And uh -huh. um, from this area here, the door on our right's the main hall. I'll save that for last. Mm. But this door over here, to your left, is actually another way on and off the ship. But these are the docking areas over here where we got the two big docking Very pylons nice. sticking out. So not exactly sure on. all ships could dock, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty nice view. You could see, you know, waiting here with a few friends while mm. your buddies dock. Or if the <laughs> ship was retrofit for a war, which would be probably pretty easy, still be a good idea to be able to watch what's docking with you. And then if we head back out here, head up the stairwell into another floor. And this is one of the living area floors. We got this large area here, which would probably be the mess hall. It's not really sealed off but I, like I mean think of it like you know google sort of setup where you just got tables they'd be around here where you could eat and whatnot and then go back to your business whatever that might be and uh in all these rooms here if we were to look in here this is sort of a lower end room and it's got two beds desk and a nice view of the middle hallway and all the stuff that's in there oh i do like this room yeah, it's very it's nice. nice and uh all the rooms on the left side of this large hallway here are actually the same as that one we were just in and on the right side, all the rooms look like this here. Oh, yeah, very this nice. really nice view. Here. Yeah. Having a look. Yeah, do your work, sleep, or if you retrofit this be office, war room, office, whatever you need. You get to set it up however you like, you're gonna get a nice view. I like it a lot. Yeah. And I either have a lot of rooms with nice views. So all the rooms on the right side have that sort of setup with that huge, huge window all the way down. Now if we were okay. to go ahead and head up another floor. Oh by the way, this is just sort of a another spare room it's unused oh, at closet. the moment yeah it's a closet basically where you'd probably want to put a storage container keep the vax and stuff mm -hmm. in there but uh, if we head up another floor we're going to reach first the bridge here so if we were to open these doors you can go ahead Did into the bridge oh very nice and you can see it's a multi-tiered bridge so you can have a you know, higher ranking people up here lower ranking people down here and they have a very nice view so the pilots will probably be down here oh, oh. <laughs> Be careful not to fall. I probably should put some railing in there. <laughs> oh, I fell. Yeah. <laughs> Twice! <laughs> but yeah, I like the idea of being able to have a very good view from down, down and nice up that. while still mm. having the windows farther away from you. It's, I like it a lot. Should have had them curved, but mm, it felt alright. Uh, if at, You probably noticed it, but up here we have the window that overlooks the main hallway of the ship. So mm. you can get a nice view. Sort of commander can take his time to look here. Probably should have put his own little personal desk so he could just this would be his workspace office. Yeah, but uh, if we were to head back out, out into the hallway we were in, I do have railings here, so health and safety shouldn't be too pissed at us. <laughs> and uh, I do actually have some windows here that we sort of ran past earlier. These are just more nice. overlook windows so you can get a nice view. And then this is also a bridge door, I should point out. So lots and lots of sort of multiple ways to get around stuff that way if one door like gets it. busted or whatever you're pretty good anyway let's carry on this down this way and uh this is just sort of one of the bog standard rooms that you'd find on the left uh ignore the fact that that bent that <laughs> desk is facing the wrong way it's actually i think so yeah it's supposed to face outward that's a mirror and glitch with that my right. bad my fault but uh yeah all the rooms um the left side of the hallway looked like this, with the exception of the captain and first crew's room, which is this double door room right here, which actually has the work desk. It doesn't face out, it faces towards where people will be coming oh. in to talk to him. It's got a nice little barrier here, that way if he hits a disgruntled crew member or passenger, uh, I'll say, I'll say he's is. fine. And then he's got I can imagine here. a few RP moments. Mm -hmm. Captain, I'm not happy. Well, I don't care! Oh, don't shoot me! 
And then on the right, this is sort of another briefing slash eating area. This one, would, I'm thinking, would definitely probably be briefing if it was military. Like an and if mess not, all thing. yeah, the, the crew sort of area. But then we carry down this hallway. As I said, the doors on the left from this point on are just that nice sort of room like this. Which mm -hmm. I like a lot. There's a bed actually facing the right way. Remind me of like little, you know, like Hong Kong sort of apartments where you can yeah. see the neighbor across the way. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there, cool. and if the ship is positioned right, you're going to have natural light coming in because there's a skylight in that main hall I'll show. Ah. Yeah, so it would be pretty interesting in there. And then if we uh, carry down on the right side, you get a bunch of rooms on the right that uh, they're pretty nice. They're basically like the ones down below except for slightly higher ceilings and mm. more to view out these. There's no roof, technically. There's no ceiling. It's just pure glass. So you get a nice, nice big view. And you just imagine seeing ships dock or even interesting things as you float by. But yeah, this, uh, this thing basically carries on all the way to the end with tons and tons and tons and tons of rooms similar to the floor below, actually. It's just huge amounts of rooms. All right, like where next on stage? Well, I think that's about it. The only other thing to show... Where well, there's two more things. Is... The main hall, but we're going to save that for very last. The other thing is actually below the main hall. So if you would follow me kindly, we're going to actually head back outside of the ship. There's something okay. I think was we didn't exactly cover. So down this way, and then we can go through these doors here. And head through one of the docking passages. Out very into nice. the exterior of the ship. And these are actually far enough out. You should be able to dock a ship easily enough. And, and, Not uh, with that, my add-on. <laughs> it's a big ship. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. It depends on where the docking clamp is. You might have to dock at a funky angle. But uh, down below here, it's something it's hard to see. And um, it's actually sort of hidden, but the best way to tell you that it's there is there's storage containers behind each one of these connectors here. Meaning if uh -huh. you're dropping off something important, you can just drop it off from here. And it's sort of like a huge cargo hold area. And I just felt that that bears sharing because that does tie into those other little cargo things I pointed out too bad, earlier. Too bad you know you can't use rotors and have a big claw. That would be badass. Ah, yes. just picking up things below you. Yeah, they did put in that rotor update, but considering they rolled back most of the multiplayer update changes, I think that might have gone with it. I haven't really tested it yet. Maybe we should do that. But anyway, if we head back inside now, we can go ahead to the main hallway. But there's more. This is crazy. This place <laughs> is massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty big. Oh, 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 okay. Here we go. This is the main hallway. Yeah, through another little double airlock door because the main hallway being so big means it could be compromised pretty easily. And uh, before we go down the hallway, let's just go this way to this door here. And by the way, the bridge was up above us here. If you look, mm -hmm. you can see up oh, the bridge. Right. It's a nice yeah, overlook. Nice. But this is sort of like a more of just for the heck of it. If you want to have a nice frontal view of the ship, you can look down there mm -hmm. and fall. Very if nice. If you're not cautious again, I probably should have put rails here. But yeah, it's, it's a nice <laughs> view. <laughs> Health and safety would not be happy. Yeah, ah! They'd be happy with most of my ship, I think, but not the bridge and not this room. <laughs> oh, no. Just have a collection of dead bodies down at the bottom of these windows. <laughs> dead bodies, rats, Captain, other I can't things. see through the window. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn left. Wait, no, right. But anyway, yeah, this is the uh, main hall. It actually ended up sort of looking like a rocket if you were just to look straight down mm. it. Oh, yeah, it does. So that just sort of happened. That was no planning at all like that. But, uh, yeah, if you look, you can see all the windows on the sides from all the rooms we were in earlier. And then at the very top, you have some slightly armored skylights up there, just in case anything decides to hit it, since it is such a large area. It wanted some extra armor. And then, of course, if you look to your left and right here, you probably notice that there's these little rooms here. These are actually for shops. So oh, each of these nice. would be their own inv individual little shop, meaning that if you had a room up in the inter like inner liner. area, yeah, exactly, like a cruise liner, you'd ha be looking out. You wouldn't have the stars to look at necessarily, but you'd have a bunch of busy people walking about and shops and stuff to see. So I think oh. it would keep you interested. And then, of course, retrofit. This could easily be well, whatever you like. Ar ammo armories. storage just, and just armories on armories. armories, and also you know, just sort of like crew storage of people. Stuck in the corners when they're ready to go. If oh, it was you know, going you know, to be a ground assault, really badass Sage. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You, should, you know what you should totally try out. Oh, you could have like crew storage, like cryopods in these little rooms. Oh, yeah, that would be something else, wouldn't it? Like, uh, let me get them. Let me get them. Let me get them. Boop. And like that. Oh, that look cool. There. I put some in. You put the double ones. Yeah, I put the double ones. So lots of people. Look nice. Yeah, this could be like, you know, like the the, the stasis area where... Yeah. Oh, it's almost reminding me of, um... What is that movie? Pandorum now. 
Mm. <laughs> if only the lights went out suddenly. <laughs> anyway, uh, shall we take a tour of your ship? I think we should. Alrighty. To see the tour of Aaron's ship, you're going to have to go ahead and click the annotation that should be on your screen right now. It'll take you to Aaron's channel, and you can find this video and watch his tour. But if you care to stay here, don't worry. Clicking that annotation will open it up in a new tab, and you can just go ahead and check it out in a little bit after you're done watching us uh, fly this ship around a little bit. I have captain. my captain seat. I believe you should get in another seat, sir. Alright, I've got all the detectors are set to fall. Okay, let's go ahead and oh, convert the ship. Oh, I'm ready as well. I'm like, it's like I'm Scotty. Oh. Convert the ship, ready? <laughs> convert the ship, do it. 3,839,000 triangles. Converting convert the ship. Convert the ship. Oh. I think it worked. I think it worked. Yeah. We're not dead. We're not dead yet. Okay, let's we try going forward. We lost the gravity. Oh, what? no, no, that's because probably I'm outside. Is, are we moving? Yeah, yeah, we're moving. I'm, I'm pressing W. VR accelerating! Oh my god, we're actually moving! We're moving! There's some speed <laughs> as well. It's not half bad for such a huge ship. We are 38,000 <laughs> in mass. Wait, no, 38 million, sorry. <laughs> Captain, the engine can't handle it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's all gone wrong! <laughs> oh, we actually turned well. pretty well, too. Oh my god, Holy this is a really crap. good ship. I'm amazed. Hold on, I think you did something, didn't you? Oh, no, you didn't. I thought we had a working weapon system. I was going to try to fire a few missiles, but it doesn't show up. Oh, no, it's good. It's on a turret. Oh, get on the turret. You go back there to the turret. Go, go, go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, no, I might, I might get stuck between, <laughs> stuck on something on the way back. Hurry! And we've got, like, I'm on, like, five frames. It's going to be like a, oh. a, a it's gonna be like a, a slideshow for whoever's watching. It's actually handling pretty well. I got a little, ten frames. Slow down. Okay, uh, okay, I'm braking. Break braking. You're not made for this, Captain. She can't handle it. It's a good thing I put some brakes in too. <laughs> right, okay. Um. Okay, we've stopped. That stopped quick. Okay, I went up to on my. You know, in my end of the ship, I've got 14 frames. Oh well, I got more lights probably. How many lights did you put in? I like 100 and some. Up. Oh, 100 and something. Oh shit! I'm cutting my ship up by mistake. I might have put in over a thousand lights. In the turret? I don't know. You're in your ship. It actually looks pretty good. I'm amazed. Give me, give me a second. I've got to put some gyros in this turret. All right. I am amazed how good this actually looks. So am I. I mean, it sort of looks like it was meant to go together. Like, even the fact that my section is lower sort of just fits. Oh my god, I'm in a turret. Oh, is it working? Funny. Hey. Oh, 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 you're lagging. Oh no. This is not gonna end well, is it? No, probably not. I'm gonna start moving. Oh my god, I'll find it. I saw it. Barely, but I did. Oh no, this can't be it. This is not gonna end well. Uh, I'm kind of eating the back. Oh. Fire the cannon. Oh. oh. Fire! Well, the reserve cockpit is going to act as a blocker now for, for me. Oh. Fire! Only seconds left. <laughs> yeah, you're starting to hit the... Oh, God! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that rapid fire, though! That's a, oh, that's a it's successful... working! Not very high frames, but it's no, still... No, not very high frames at all, but it's working. God, imagine a, imagine a large ship battle, that'd be cr What the hell, God, what happened? Big cannons like that. Uh, did I've you just connect? Well, I've lost all power. Well, I think you've lost all power because oh, the turret emerging. is being eaten by the back bridge. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, you're coming free. Oh no. Oh no, I'm, I'm trapped in this age. Oh out God! Here, I'll accelerate more. Maybe that'll help. No, please don't. Acceleration! <laughs> How is that helping? Oh, um, I'm inside the bridge now. Well, well, oh. on the on the bonus, the bridge now has an extra turret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm outside. All right, you got out of the ship. That is, a, that is a pretty awesome ship, to be honest. That needs to be put in the workshop. I am amazed that that works. That needs to be put in the workshop. All right. Thank good. <laughs> this is like amazing. This is like a real good ship. One part that I've, I've got a debatable question about is where they connect yeah. underneath. 
But yeah, I think it actually works all right if you fly down underneath. Because I filled in the open gaps. It looks a little bit, you know, we could smooth it a bit, but I think it's actually all right. Especially if we were able to stick engines in there, it would just look like a bit of an extra booster coming off of the uh, docking area. <laughs> I am pretty happy with that. I am I was happy with it until I got in the turret and blew it off. Oh, and then you weren't happy with it? <laughs> you know, without the turret, it, doesn't, it looks pretty cool too. Yeah, it works pretty well without the turret. The turret helps, I think, though. Let's break the shape. Yeah.